many of you have heard the saying, it can be delayed but never denied. This has always been my testimony for the longest time. I've always believed in this and it has always been working for me. This is just a story time. I'm just basically going to tell you my journey so far since I came into the UK. I've been trying to drive for the past two years I've been in the UK, but I was never able to do it until after two years. So you grab your popcorn, grab your coffee, whatever you want to relax it because I'm coming with my story. Just for introductory purposes, my name is Maura Nikki. Most of my friends call me Nikki or Nikki Star. If this is your first time coming across my video, you are highly welcome if this is your first time seeing this face you how are you you're welcome to this channel i don't take it for granted please stay tuned i came into the uk um june 2022 obviously i did not start attempting to drive because i was still trying to get one or two things sorted i got this job i needed to travel away from my husband basically trying to focus on my job before i could start up anything driving so i prepared for my driving theory um test with my friends that was the best decision ever because i'm a kind of person that i do well whenever i prepare with my friends even when i was in school i had a lot of discussion groups and that was what helped me um while i was in school so waiting for that test it was really easy because most of the things we have been practicing all over and over and over again came out so i passed at my first attempt now when i passed at my first attempt i thought the practical would be really easy one was that back in nigeria i did a lot of driving classes and i wasn't really scared most of my instructors were all say, telling me that i'm a good driver i'm a good driver you know, when you keep hearing you're a good driver you feel like there's nothing you can't conquer when it comes to driving so this was my own journey i came into the uk started off my practical um, classes now i decided to go with the um, instructor my husband used because my husband went in for his test and passed just on the first attempt though he has been driving a lot of times in nigeria he has been driving for the longest time in nigeria so when i started off with this instructor everything was going on well i felt i was understanding i felt everything was really going on well we had to book my driving test when i booked this driving test i felt really ready but unfortunately my instructor told me he wasn't going to be around when i was um, going to go in for my practical test that wasn't the greatest news that wasn't the news i was expecting at that time but i couldn't help because he was going for holidays with his family so we started looking at what could the other options be should i start um, looking out for another date that wasn't really an option for me because we all know in the UK it takes quite a lot of time <laughs> to get a driving test date. I wasn't looking at that option. Then the second option was maybe I should link you up with another colleague of mine that would just carry on from where we stopped and then see you through the test. At, at, at that point, I thought that was the best decision, but I never knew that was like the worst mistake I would ever do. So this was what happened we decided to go with another instructor when i went to the driving instructor no one told me this guy was just starting his career being a driving instructor so he just i, I don't i don't want to say he used me to shine but he kept on telling me that i wasn't good at this i wasn't good at that all these things my current instructor never told me i wasn't good at all those things so he drew us back i kept paying more than i expected to my husband, he said, if he's going to bring you up to the standard, no worries, we are going to pay him. He should just make sure you pass on your first attempt. But that wasn't the case. I went for the test thinking I was ready, but I wasn't ready. I didn't get para parking. So the maneuver I got was para parking. And that was the main thing that I failed for because that was the major I had. Usually once you have one major, is definitely going to be a fail so I didn't get the power packing and several times when we were practicing I kept on telling this man that this power packing technique doesn't look real I keep using a lot of um, landmarks on the car that we are like mobile for example we're using the edge of the mirror the side mirror for a landmark and each time I enter the car, because I'm not the only one he's tutoring, each time I enter the car, there's one or two changes that has been made to the mirror. So when I adjust the mirror, it never gives me that same mark 
from the first time we started the training so there wasn't a specific thing i was using to know my landmarks it was really painful because in my head i thought i was going to pass on that first attempt and i could remember when i went for i, I, I once went to make my hair and my hairstylist, I was telling her um, how I was getting ready for my driving test. And she was like, she has a friend that has gone for this driving test up to four times. The problem isn't that she can't drive. The problem was because she has failed previously, each time she, she gets into the test or she's in that test scenario, she just becomes really tense, really scared. And she ends up flopping she ends up failing the test when she told me that story it wasn't relatable i couldn't understand it because i've never experienced that i've never gone for a test and i've failed so i told i wasn't really understanding what she was saying until it happened to me so now back forward to when i failed my first driving test i cried i really cried i had to take some days off because of that test so i had <laughs> i had a lot of time to cry I cried. My husband came back from work that day expecting good news, but I didn't call him. So when he entered, he was like, this one, you have not called me. What happened? Have you passed? Have you failed? I just started crying again. And he was really nice. He took me out that night for dinner just to make sure that... <laughs> Excuse me. Just to make sure I was a bit okay um, because of the failure. It helped me a, a, a bit to recover. And I told myself, okay, good, fine. I have to get back to driving again now i reached out to my previous instructor that went for holiday um by that time he was already back and um, he couldn't believe that i failed obviously he couldn't believe that i failed now when i i spoke with him i mentioned to him that i would want to use him again the previous instructor was still reaching out to me to see if i was still interested to carry on with us and i told him no i'm not interested anymore i want to return back to my instructor this was how i started off another class with my instructor now when i started this class with my instructor I told him para parking. I think para parking is my problem. I don't really have a problem driving around. Roundabout wasn't my issue. Para parking was my issue. I mentioned that to him. We started working on para parking, and somehow I just developed that fear for para parking. I don't know how it happened, but I just know I had the fear for para parking. If we are practicing and he tells me to para park, my heart just keeps. I just know that it's it looks like an impossible task we kept on practicing i was still looking for a driving test date because it's always a struggle getting a second test date so this linger to around um so my first test should be around april 2023 now i was lucky enough i got a second driving test date around october 2023 now i thought i was ready and uh, i went for that test and the most annoying thing that happened to me on that day is I went into the driving test center. The, the examiner came out. Lo and behold, it was the previous examiner, the previous examiner I had that came out again. Immediately I saw her, my fear doubled. I lost all confidence. I don't know why that was the case. I just flashed back to what this hairstylist told me. Once you fail for the first time, that fear just keeps coming. Now, imagine when you fail and you meet the same examiner again. My fear doubled. I tried holding myself together. I was already shivering. My hand was shaking. I entered the car. We started off the journey. I was trying to hold myself together. It was going smoothly. I didn't do any major mistake until it was time for maneuver. Lo and behold, she told me to do the parallel parking again. Remember, I already have a fear for para parking and I met my previous examiner and my fear doubled. Now, immediately she told me para parking. I think it tripled. <laughs> my fear tripled. I lost it. I couldn't control the car. I was just shaking and cars were passing by. I was trying as much as possible to concentrate. The good thing about this second time is I was able to para park. I did it really well, but she mentioned that there was a car I didn't wait for when I was doing the maneuver. So cars were there waiting for me. I took some time because I was shivering to do the power parking. So cars that couldn't wait any longer tried moving by and I didn't see that car. I carried on with the maneuver and that was why I failed. 
I cried. I cried again. Like I couldn't believe it because I thought I was really ready for this second test. I cried again. Now, the most annoying thing that happened at that time is I wanted to book for another test, but we were relocating from Coventry to Somerset. My husband has already relocated because of work and I was trying to see if work could move me from um, Coventry to Somerset. Now this period of waiting, I, I think I had up to two weeks more to spend in Coventry and I was telling my husband, I need to book another test. I feel I already know the route. The route is not my problem. My problem is the maneuver, which is parallel parking. I need to get it right. And my husband had to talk to me. He said, you are in a lot of pressure already. You need to calm down. You might go in there again and you meet the same instructor. And I know it's going to bring in that fear again. You need to change location. You need to have a period of rest. You need to bring everything together and give in your best again. Don't worry, we are going to a smaller town. It's not going to be as big as Coventry. So it's not going to take you so much time to get used to their route. After so much conviction, he really tried to convince me. I finally made up my mind, okay, let me listen to him. There's no rush. Maybe I'm under a lot of pressure. I need to calm myself down, have a little bit of break, focus on relocating to, um, to Somerset because I just had two weeks. That was how I just cancelled with my instructor because I really wanted to start up another um, practical with him, but I just cancelled and that was how I moved down to Somerset. On moving down to Somerset, the major challenge I faced was who should I pick? Who is the instructor I should go for? Because there were lots of instructors and I didn't want to go for any instructor that would just be in for the money rather than for the knowledge. I really calmed down. I was really, I searched online. I kept looking out for instructors. I kept looking out for reviews. But most of the times you keep saying in the review session, you keep saying they are very good. They did this, they did that. Because most of the times they will tell people that pass to leave them reviews. I was really confused. Walking area wasn't far from home. So it was trackable. Most of the times I would walk and sometimes my husband would drop me and pick me. So it wasn't really inconvenient in at that particular time. The person that came in he, and she happened to be an instructor. We had this relationship. She was really nice because I as a person, I love it when people are nice. I don't like wahala so if you have a lot of wahala if you don't tolerate people most of the times i can't work with you so i started seeing that this person looks like someone i could work with she is a lady she is really calm she 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 has every car like she's really nice calm jovial and i was like maybe i should ask her if she has some free slots for me so that she could tutor me so i went ahead to tell her about my condition the things i've faced i've faced in the journey of trying to drive so when i spoke with her she was like ah if you've mentioned you can drive and it's just power parking power parking is not difficult i'm going to try and make you ready for your test if power parking is just your problem and this was how she fit me in into her schedule and we started the classes guys you can't believe this this woman was the best instructor i've ever had all my in all my period of trying to to learn how to drive she was calm she 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 just knows what she was doing in every of our classes she has this very large book where she has noted down all her students name now in her, after every class she is trying to pick out one or two things you aren't getting right. She will note it down. And in the next class, she would make sure you're focusing more on those things that you are not correctly doing. It really helped me. And one of the things that also helped me is I had a friend that was like, Nikki, your problem isn't driving around the, um, the roads. Your problem is power parking. The fear, not even power parking, but the fear of power parking. Now, the best thing for you to do is make sure you tell your instructor to always do this power parking practice with you on every of your class class session or every of your driving session. And this was exactly what I did. So I came in, I told my instructor, please, can we have um, power parking on every of our meetings? She was happy with that. She did it for me. On every class we did power packing at the initial time that fear was there once she tells me to do it I will shiver I will do it sometimes I will get it right sometimes I wouldn't get it right and the best thing that happened to me was that she showed me how to use my mirror 
to drive or do the power packing rather than using signs and using all those markings external markings and that mirror formula was just the best so because i kept on doing this power packing over and over again i started losing that fear that fear continued to die 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 until it went completely off so i became really better at the para packing i became less concerned whenever you mentioned okay now we're going to try power packing uh uh, uh that fear never came in again and this was how i started becoming more confident in myself i was already ready i had a lot of time to do a lot of mock tests oh this is off i did a lot of mock tests which was also helpful lo and behold on the day of my test my instructor was really good she just had this way of calming you down because i was already nervous but she had a way of calming me down i was really calm i went for the driving test i also got guys <laughs> you can't believe this guess the maneuver that i got i got parallel parking again but this time around i nailed it <laughs> i nailed it I wasn't even scared that fear didn't come i just told myself nikki you have done this severally there's no need to be scared i went on did the para packing and it was it was it i got it i was so happy and by the time we got back to the driving test center my <laughs> you know once they pack they will tell you okay thank you very much you can off the engine do you want your instructor to hear the feedback from the test and i said yes at that point my heart started skipping i was like have i failed have i failed then when my instructor came he said congratulations you did a good job you passed with one minor like i couldn't believe it's just one minor guys i was so happy well this is me telling everybody <laughs> I know a lot of people have been facing one or two challenges when it comes to driving in this country but i want to leave you with one tip make sure you reflect after every driving reflect note whatever your problem is do not be in a hurry to go in for that test note where you are not doing well and try to work more to improve yourself once you improve yourself talk to yourself build that confidence do a lot of mock tests and i believe you'll be fine even if you don't get it at the first attempt, keep working towards it. Keep working towards your goals and you will going to shine through and be happy like I was. I cried on the day when I, I was told that I have finally passed because as I was going for that test, I just told myself, this is 50-50. I'm not expecting so much. If I fail, that's fine. If I pass, that's fine. What I know is I must keep pushing until I get this done. And guys, you can't believe this. I'm, I am now a UK licensed driver. I'm super happy and I am also encouraging you never give up on your goal. I know it might be different from driving, but whatever your challenge is in this life, never give up on it. Just keep pushing until you get to where you want to be. This life, now step by step, no rush, no rush at all. Keep being you, keep doing what you love doing and we shall all meet at the top. I love you guys so much for the support so far. We are currently at 600 subscribers and it's all because of you. Thank you so much for supporting this girl. And if you haven't subscribed, please, what are you waiting for? Click on the support, click on the subscribe button, support me, like my video, share to your friends, comment if you can, and I'll really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. See you in my next video. I, I am still your girl, Nikki, Nikki Star, and see you in my next video. Bye.